what's going on guys welcome back to another video you see we got the rammer we got the trailer hooked up we are going to take that old white girl in there to the dyno now if you guys remember let me get in the truck might be a little loud i got the high oh i just ate shit over there but uh if you guys remember so i last time took the uh buggy it's got an lsx 454 na just a crate motor have not done nothing Ran it on 100 low lead, the aviation fuel. Made 520 wheel horsepower. What I've done now, I've put a bigger fuel pump, which it's not gonna increase uh, power, but just so when I do put a blower twin turbos on it, I'm ready, I have a good fuel pump. I put the Aeromotive 5.0 brushless pump on there. Uh, replaced all the lines, went from dash six to dash 10. Made everything a lot bigger. Again, that's not gonna do anything for horsepower. You're not gonna gain any more horsepower. Um, so what I want to do, the purpose of this video is I want to see, they are claiming NA switching just E85. That's all I've put in this thing. I switched fuels from the low lead to E85. They're claiming, uh, 30 to 50 extra horsepower wheel. I'm not buying it. So I want to see going to the same person, same dyno, um, same everything basically to get a true, true test to see what this thing is actually going to do. So. Uh, we're in we're ready to go. Let's head out and uh, Well, let's go see what this baby makes. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We have arrived here at Darden's I know he looks closed, but he's not he's here. He's gonna I think open up this one right here and I'll show you guys if it's your first time Show you how he does it and so the thing what's nice about Darden's place here is well He does not use a like a dot like a roller. He uses a uh, actual wheel hub that hooks to the hub so we're going to make sure we put the same exact hubs on there so we get a true and good accurate reading basically so we don't want to because he's got two other ones the blue ones that we use are good for like 4,000 horsepower and the other ones that he has are for I mean he can use it for this one but he did use it for this one so we just want to keep it accurate all right start this baby up these are the hubs that i'm telling you about darden has now hooked up the pro hubs these things are good for 4,000 horsepower so this thing should make like under 3,000 wheels so they should be good enough for the sand car uh, but we'll see right here he's now doing his thing I'll show you the other side right here. He's got it hooked up. Bam, just like that. And that's all it is. Pop these babies off, hook them up, and they're good to go. So we will see now what exactly E85 does. Everybody claims, you know, you get big power with E85, but we're about to, to find out. Um, I, like I said, like I told you at the beginning of the video, I don't think it's gonna gain that much. Um, mainly it's for, like, it's just clean. And there's pros and cons to E85, obviously. Um, but to me, there's more pros, and I I maintenance my stuff. So, you know, I do the oil changes on it, you know, the plugs, drain it if it's sitting. Uh, so for me, it's okay. For some of you guys that just wanna drive it, park, and not do anything, I probably wouldn't recommend E85. And you gotta replace your lines. You can't run the rubber lines. That's another issue because the E85, over time, rubber you know if it's not e85 rated it's going to eat it up that alcohol will start you know deteriorating at it uh fuel pump fuel filters you know you can't run the paper filters that's not going to work so uh that's an issue basically uh when running that type of fuel so when you do there's a lot of stuff you're going to have to switch in this and that's what i've done and it's now finally done and completed so now darden's here he's doing his thing he plays with it and does whatever he does with it. i don't know exactly but he just pushes the button and and makes magic, and that's it. I gotta say, guys, the smell, whew, nothing like some fresh alcohol coming out of that thing. The smell is awesome in this thing. guys as you 
gotta tune them because you don't want your vehicles to start running lean. On E85, it will start leading out because it does require more fuel. did beat it so what did you do different okay oh, yeah, that's it do you add any more timing or no, I'm the same timing just okay. uh, air fuel so we're running about 8.4 lambda okay so I change your stoichiometric air fuel ratio now you're not gonna be the tr I can there's like several ways to do it but okay I made it where like now your new stoic point is 10.0 and it's gonna come down to like 8.4 8.5 lambda okay. instead of the traditional like 12.6 AFR at the end of the day, they're the same. So okay. They're just done different. They're a different scaling. Oh, because the E85 requires yes, more fuel? Fuel, like 34%. Okay. So okay. it's 4% uh, for every 10 points. So okay. pump gas has E10, E9, E10. And if you go to E20, it's 4% more. If you go to E30, it's another 4%. So all the way up to E82 or something. Okay. Perfect. So first pull, guys, we already beat it by 7. 526 wheel right now. You guys can see that right there. Pull that off. 26 degrees, uh, 25 degrees of timing. I think I was being a little conservative on timing on that gas last time, and I was running a little bit richer. Holy shit! That's a that's a gain right there. Almost. Either that, or maybe that it just likes the fuel. One of those, because I remember I think I gave the timing last time, but we didn't pick up huge gains. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So right now I picked up. I just added three degrees, and I picked up uh, 20 horsepower. Yeah. Wow, look at that guys. Over 20. It was it was 520, so it picked up almost 25. No, it was 26, so technically. No, I'm saying from the oh, ab gas. Yeah, yeah. So almost yeah, almost 25 horsepower. Wow. That's impressive. On just fuel. Look at that. Holy. Damn. So uh, when you went more more timing, it brought the horse two degrees more, and it lost uh, it lost four horsepower, well three horsepower. But that tells us that we started off two nineteen, and then as I added timing, our our window got here. Now I added more timing, and now I went the other way. The opposite way. Okay. So the motor's not gonna knock because it has the octane, but it just doesn't like it. Yeah. So I'll okay. take the two degrees back out. It'll be like five forty ish. So what was it at when you had the five forty four? It was at 25 and a half degrees. Right now it's about almost 27. Okay, so a light 25 and a half degrees. Okay, perfect. So see that guys? So he added it, if you didn't understand pretty much what he said is, he just kept going, kept going, kept going until pretty much we lost horsepower now. So now he'll put it back to that 25 and a half degree and get to the 544 what it was at for the initial, uh, the second pull. Well, there you have it guys. That is the success of this old white girl over here on the dyno day. So that's a pretty impressive. By just changing fuel, we have gained an additional 25 horsepower. And that's, you know, actual true numbers, real numbers, um, not where, you know, you buy a colder intake and they're claiming, oh yeah, 50 horsepower, 20 horsepower. like. You're not getting anything from those intakes. Those, you know, sort of like a BS where they claimed everything I've read, you know, on switching the 85 was like a 20 to 40 horsepower gain on NA. Um, I was sort of like skeptical. I'm like, eh, I figure maybe I'll pick up, you know, five to 10. I didn't think I was gonna get an additional 25. So that is impressive. Very happy with this car. Uh, can't wait to try it out. And 
We got the homie Josh here. He's finishing up uh, this car. Doing another computer uh, on this. Got rid of his old, uh, what, damn, do you remember what computer it was? I forgot, what was it? Uh, I think old Mephi. Yeah, I think it was an old Mephi in this thing, but got rid of it. Putting, upgrading to a Holly Terminator X. These things are amazing, guys. The, the bang for your buck is incredible with, you know, what you get, how much you get, what you can do, uh, you know, what options you have, the inputs you have, just the, the safety, the monitoring that you can do is, it's really unbelievable. I really, really like the Holly. And Holly has more than just, you know, the Terminator X. Um, you know, they got the Terminator X, they, they've got the Dominator, you know, the badass one, which on my car, I think what I'm going to do, so um, I got to wait till I get my transmission, but if I get the transmission and then I can put the blower or twin turbos, one of the two, I think I'm going to switch to the Dominator uh, only because it gives you a little more options that I personally like. So someone like me, you know, I'm, I'm really anal about my stuff. I like to monitor everything. So like the Terminator X allows you to monitor, uh, you know, the fuel with one O2 sensor where I would like to monitor both banks so I can put an O2 on this side and an O2 on the other side. A lot of these cars, they only come with one O2 monitoring one bank, which for some people, they don't know what that means, nor are they ever going to check it. Um, but someone like me, that's why I put the huge screen in here because I literally have every gauge in here. I want to monitor everything while I'm driving and I will even... Uh, record do a data log and just double check here but thank you guys for watching the video if you liked the video hit that thumbs up button don't click subscribe but yeah